That is insane. <laughs> wow. It's intense. That is intense. Very intense. It's pretty, pretty wild. Yeah. Good morning, everybody. It's JB and Renee from uh, Will Fly for Food, and we're finally here in uh, Jahi. Jahi, right? Jahi. Jai, Jai. Jai. It's our first time here in, in the city and um, if Jai. it doesn't sound familiar or it does sound familiar to you, uh, it's it was a city uh, featured on uh, Street Food by Netflix. They uh, featured four Jai. eateries here and that's why we're here because we're actually going to go to all four of those eateries. Starting with this one called Smart Fish where they serve this fish head soup. What and, I'm uh, most excited about. Yeah, because it was the one really featured on the show. They, they, they really highlighted this place and they told uh, the story of the daughter of the owners and I love fish heads yeah she loves fish heads and how uh, it was a story of triumph and the, they used to call her a name right when when she was in school they used to call her fish head or something yeah. because her family has been running this restaurant for a long time so she was teased when she when she was young and you know and eventually as she grew, grew older and the shop became successful really successful she really owned the, the label right it, it became like a symbol of pride being called fish head exactly. so it's quite nice so I'm actually gonna go there now for lunch. We expect a long line, but hopefully we don't have to wait too long. It's always a great feeling to be in a new city for the first time ever, in a new place. Feels like you're discovering something new. I can really relate to her story of how she was teased because I was teased a lot when I was a kid growing up. People used to make fun of my chin, you know? I got this like really sharp pointy chin. But, and it used to bother me a lot when I was a kid, but now it doesn't bother me at all. Because look, this dude scored this little hottie over here. Ordering sheet is in Chinese, so we don't know what to pick. So Ren is quickly looking at Google Translate. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. You're very helpful. Thank you. That was great. She really helped us out there. That's a cauldron of fish tofu, uh, tofu skin. Here and finally we're seated. Um, it was a bit chaotic because there's a lot of people here. Obviously, it's quite a popular place, but the scene is quite nice, huh? They have multiple rooms, and we got this like counter, kind of talking with nice and cold in here, and we got a uh, like a fish head soup for like two or three people, and one turkey rice just to try it because it's a specialty here in Jai, and some beers. What we love about Taiwan, they're very helpful, Taiwanese yeah. people. So yes. a couple of people in the queue helped us because uh, the, the the entire order. The menu checklist or the was checklist. it was in completely in Chinese, but um, some kind people were, were they, they helped us out. Google Translate. It was kind of a fail, but it helped a little bit. Yeah, it did. <laughs> but it was still hard. We got the beers. Yeah, we, we got the beers. <laughs> so we're just waiting now. Can't wait to I'm try excited. this. Me too. See how awesome Google Translate is. AM casserole fish head, smart casserole fish head. These are all like the. It gives you a few options. The options. Of but you know the uh, you, you have an idea. Yeah. Cheers, Some good fish head. Oh, there's a wreck. Oh, nice. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much. Look at how beautiful this is. It's not, it's not really a lot. Yeah. Here we go. This is like, um, this is fish head soup with, with uh, fish meat. Oh my god, I can't even. It's good for like up to two or three. There's the head right there. It looks like it's been deep fried, right? Yeah, it's deep fried and then stewed. Stewed. There you go. Different types, different fish parts along with the head. This looks, it smells incredible. I, I wish you guys could smell this right now. It's, it smells divine. Just kind of 
tear into it, I guess. Ah, all the meat is underneath, huh? There you go, that's all the meat, the good stuff. So just flip it up. Break it, what? Yeah. I hear you there. I just get it. Yeah, break it up completely first before you. Ooh, look at that. Beautiful chunk of fish head right there. there you go. Some soup. Veggies. Oh my god. Making some tofu. Fish. Nice. Cheesy. Lovely. There's Ren's first serving. Awesome. Happy Mama? The bomb? This deserves the Dance of Joy. <laughs> yes. Dance of Joy? You try it. Okay. Alright. Okay. And then we got uh, an order of a turkey rice as well. We weren't planning on eating this here. But it's a specialty of um, Jai. And, and according to their menu, it's a specialty here as well. So we had to give it a shot. I wonder what the big deal about the turkey is. I know. I mean, this is one of those deceptive dishes. It looks flavorless and bland, but yeah. loaded with flavor. Jai turkey rice. Let's do it. Tasty. Right away, fried shallots. Ah. The, the fried shallots. <laughs> good. Yeah, good stuff. Deceptively good. Yeah. Right. Mm. The rice is a star. The rice is a star here. It's not actually the, the meat. Mm, the rice is good. And can you taste? Mm hmm. Yeah. Mm hmm. Right, yeah. Yep. You can see it. You can taste it. I know. Mm, the, this, this rice is good. Very, very flavorful. We're going to be having a lot more of this in the next four days here. Now I'm going to try the reason why we came here the fish head soup. Yeah, I just get, don't get the entire thing. <laughs> a little bit right there. It's kind of hard to get, but yeah. just gonna pick at it until it's gone. There's my serving, of, my first serving of fish head soup. Mmm! 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 That's good! Mmm! I haven't even had the actual fish head, but the broth is tasty. Oh, that's good. It's a little sweet. So? Doesn't that deserve a dance of joy? Yes, that actually deserves a dance of joy. Let's you wanna do, do it? Dance. Let's do it, let's go. Oh man, this is so good. This really is so good. Yeah, and it's not it's not uh, fishy at all. I mean it, it tastes of fish, but it's not fishy. Like, it's very clean. Mm, I love this. I'm the tofu skin so good. Mm-hmm. Eating the fish head. I got it from my mom. Okay. She used to love this stuff. Sauce is also good. Soup. The soup is delicious. Soup is good. It's so sweet. Must, must. This is worth going to Jai for, just this. Mm -hmm. Worth flying to Jai for, seriously. I could totally eat this every day. Mm -hmm. This is not normally the kind of dish I would get for myself, but I, I love this. I can have this every day. So, can I get the rest? <laughs> Uh, I get the rest of the head. Mmm, that's so good, man. Papa, look. Wow. Oh my god. I get the eye. Mm, go ahead, go ahead. Oh my god, I have to show the eye. I always get the eyeball. This is the best mm. part. Oh my god, I murdered the already murdered fish. It's a little spicy too. Yes. Got some heat in there. Very nice. Here, you can get this. Oh my god, look. Mmm. Thank All you, my meat. love. I'll show you this beautiful, look at it. Just flaked away. Big chunk of fish head right there. Beautiful. And the eyeball. Can you show the eyeball? Mmm. Mm. Look. The best part of the fish. The eyeball. The fish head. Delicious. Oh. I'm just <laughs> I'll save it for last. Yeah. Eyeball. Mm. He was looking at you, kid. Mm. <laughs> My favorite. Mm. There's the chili. Oh my god. That's scary. Yeah. How can you not like it? 
this one. Alright. He doesn't make it. Oh. Go for it. There's no proper way of eating it. Yeah. Okay, I'm getting full. Very easy to eat. Excuse me. Good morning, everybody. It's Good JB morning. and Renee. The travel leaders of Will Fly for Food. Yeah, loving it. Um, she woke up like that. I woke up like that. <laughs> Yeah, because she had an awesome uh, a trust haircut yesterday with the language barrier, but it worked out beautifully, as you can see. She's looking lovely. Loving it. And today we're going to go get some uh, turkey rice. Um, this is our third bowl of turkey rice on this trip. Love uh, this, turkey rice. Yes, it's fantastic. But this is the one that's uh, that was featured on um, Street Food on Netflix. So we're expecting this one to be the best. So let's go eat some turkey rice. Yes. And there she is, folks, uh, Magistrate Lou's. It's the restaurant featured on street food on Netflix. Uh, they specialize in turkey rice. And if they were the ones featured, then it's safe to assume that they serve one of the best turkey rice here in Jahi. So we're gonna go have breakfast there right now. Let's go, let's cross the street. Before get run over. Woo! Hello, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Oh, what are you gonna have here today? I'm trying to figure out oh, my okay. Google Translate. Oh, I see. The so. menu. All right, so what looks good? Turkey rice. Turkey rice? Aha, uh -huh, awesome. Yeah. This is Ren translating the menu in English using Google porridge. Translate. Uh, fried poached egg. You want egg? Sure. Yeah, egg. Well. Wow. I think it's going to be poached or fried. Fried. Okay, so here is uh, the turkey rice, what this restaurant is known for. And this is the dish in Jahi, turkey rice. Of course, we got a side of um, fried egg and a uh, poached tofu. egg, tofu, deep fried tofu, and what's the other type of egg? Uh, hard boiled. Just, tea just egg. a hard boiled. Okay, hard boiled tea egg. That's why it's got a darker color. And of course, Ren's got the turkey rice as well. This looks like it's gonna be very tasty. Got some relish here too. The other bowl didn't have relish. Some relish with some fried shallots over here. Some some uh, pickles. It's gonna be good. Nice. Yum. Go, take a bite. And how is that rice? Good. It's pretty good for the rice, it's not as flavorful as the old rice. It's good though. I mean, I could have it all the time. This is a pizza. Turkey, I think. I think it's turkey. I think it really is turkey. It's really meant to be eaten for breakfast. I think breakfast is a snack. Okay, so good. Mmm, it's not. Good first meal of the day. And we're doing karaoke. No, we're doing karaoke right after this. Great. Because why not? Great. Glad you joined? <laughs> Good morning guys, it's yeah. JB and uh, the travel leaders from Will Fly for Food and uh, yeah, we're in uh, Jahi right now, this is our driver, he's going to take us to Uncle Sheep oh, today I'm for lunch. Oh, I'm a professional driver. Yeah, yeah. Driver Jahi. Oh. yes, we're going to go. <laughs> he's taking care of us today, we're going to go get uh, that famous uh, medicinal hot pot made of goat. Um, which just takes, I think, like three to seven days to cook, right? We saw it on uh, street food, but on Netflix. It is a very dangerous dish, which is good for you to eat, but for the guy making it, it's not actually great for his health. Like, he has to wear a gas mask whenever he, he cooks it, right? right? Anyway, we're gonna tell you the whole story later once we get there. It's about half an hour from the city, so let's go. Let's do this.
Okay guys, so we are here that the taxi dropped us off like half an hour north of uh, the city and like we're seriously in the middle of Nowhere. Just nowhere, just farmland, which is amazing. Um, but we're, we're definitely in the right place. Um, we asked someone here and he pointed us to the restaurant. So we're just going to go walk to it right now. This is interesting. This is fun. <laughs> As you can see, guys, we are literally in farm country. There's nothing here but farmland, which is amazing because it makes the experience even more interesting. These are the places you fly to for food. Okay, guys, here we are. There's the sign for it. I see the words Uncle Sheep. So we're definitely in the right place. Cool. We, and we got time to spare too. We're here early to make sure that we found the place. And now we found it. I'm so excited. Oh my god. Okay, guys, so we have found the place. Um, it's right here behind me. But uh, they're still closed. Uh, they open at 11.30 in the morning. I think it's like 11 right now. You know, we were excited to get here. But uh, they should be opening soon. So we're starving. This is gonna be perfect. Oh. Wow. Okay, guys, so we just saw Uncle Sheep now. He just opened the gate for us, let us in. And this is like the, the famous room where he, he cooks um, the, the goat. And he's just uh, handling some business right now, we're getting ready to open up. And he says he's gonna show us this room. So I can't wait to see it. It's such a privilege to be here right now. I feel so fortunate. Yeah, this is great, man. I mean, it really does feel like you're in someone's house, which, which is exactly what this is. Such a beautiful, beautiful space. The dining room. Oops. Hello. Are you excited to eat? Of course. Testing, testing. Can you hear us? Testing, mic test. Oh my god, this is so delicious. Oh, this is the best goat ever. Oh my god, oh this goat is phenomenal. Oh wow, yeah. Mm. <laughs> okay, guys, so we're here. We, we got a burner in front of us and we're just waiting for the goat now. Uh, they gave us a, a set of menu. Yes. For 1,500 uh, new Taiwanese dollars, so that's pretty good for like a, a one-of-a-kind dish for two people, which takes like three Seven days. days. Oh. It says uh, three days and three nights to prepare. So this is a dish that you cannot definitely cannot have just anywhere, and it is made with love. It's detrimental to his health. That's why he wears a gas mask. I guess because of uh, the, fumes. the fumes from the cooking process, um, he covers the pot. He puts the goat in a pot, covers it. Clay and buries it under the ground where it cooks for three days, three straight days. And I guess the, the fumes from that is really bad for your health, which is why he has to wear a gas mask whenever yeah. he cooks it. So this is amazing. Oh no. Ah, there. <laughs> Yay. Oh, lovely. Awesome. Yes. <laughs> there. There's the goat, the goat hot pot guys. Why we came here for, why we flew to Chai for. Oh my god. Oh, there it is, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Ooh, it's bamboo shoots, yo. Oh my guys, it's like some kind of salad with a fiddlehead ferns. Fiddlehead fern with a cherry on top and bonito flakes, guys. And a ketchup? I got ketchup. ketchup. <laughs> Mm, yeah, it is mayonnaise. This is awesome. <laughs> this is fantastic, yeah. This is a set meal. For 1500 NTD. I'm not doing so well with this. Hi. Can I get assistance, my love? <laughs> there you go. There's my serving. Good? Mm. Mm -hmm. I'm enjoying these noodles a lot. Mm -hmm. I'm so glad they served the noodles instead of There you go, baby. Mm, smells like 
Cookies. Interesting. Different. Interesting. Good. It's supposed to be medicinal, right? Yeah, it's, it's medicinal hot water. So, it tastes like it? You need to drink the soup. It, no, yeah, I can taste the alcohol. Mmm. Soothe the throat. Throat? Which is good because I've been feeling a bit under the weather lately. Like. Mmm, yeah, it comes out alcohol too. It's the first thing that hits you. Yeah, it's, a, it's an, an unusual taste. Which I welcome. Alcohol. Now drink it. Right? Mm. That's when you appreciate it. Yeah, yeah. You have to, to drink the soup to really appreciate this dish. Go to the tender though, the meat. Even better meat. It's been cooking for three days. <laughs> I know. You can tell it's good for you. It's like an elixir, a gold elixir. It's a dying tradition. It is. I think you mentioned it in one of his yeah. children. It's too difficult. I don't blame him, but it's kind of sad, right? It's a dying dish. Not many people know how to make it. It's hard. You jeopardize your health. Well, someone should come up with like a, a safer, way to safer, healthier way to make it. Yeah, the soup is quite nice. It's unusual at first, but once you get yeah, a taste for it, actually, you look for it. It's one, it's one of those things. Yeah. And I think I'm getting slightly buzzed. <laughs> so, that's a joy for this? Uh, this dish tastes like it's good for you. For you. It feels like I'm drinking like some elixir. The secret to long life. Like he's giving away, Uncle Shin is giving away years of his life making this and passing it on to all of us. That's what I feel like when I, when I drink this. Thank you, Uncle Shin. Thank you, Uncle Shin. Uh, I, it's going down here. Oh. <laughs> I wouldn't say it's like the best, like in a culinary sense, the best tasting. But the experience of eating it feels good, you know? It's more of that than anything. It doesn't taste incredible. It's not the most amazing tasting thing in the world. I might even call it a dry taste for some, but you do feel good when you eat it. I feel grateful when, when I eat it. But the fact that he made this dish, and I can't have this dish anywhere else. And I know it's good for me, and it tastes like it's good for me, so that, I love that about it. Alright guys, I just wanted to show you the aftermath. Everything was obliterated. You think we liked it? Oh uh, yeah, you think we liked it? What do you think? Mm, we, we did good, yo. <laughs> He's talking about like, so when he introduces it, there are four major parts. One is like, and it's the direction of it. The heat must come from the top, not from its sides. Because if it comes from the sides, then it's going to be hard to digest. Oh, but wow. if it comes from the top, then it is fine. Time to go inside. Well, I'll explain some more later. Let's go. This is his oven. Oh my god, there's Uncle Sheep putting on his gas mask. Come on in, come on. Lie, lie, lie. I've seen it so many times. Please give it right. Oh my god. That is insane. <laughs> wow. It's intense. That is intense. It's pretty, pretty wild. Yeah. Now you can imagine how his lungs must have I know. Yeah. He only got the gas mask six years ago. And we'll go outside. But he this couple of years. Definitely. And he was just standing here with him. Okay, <laughs> 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 
，吃看看，啊，啊，别闹。啊，会不会有点少？啊，看会不会有？这个是烧焦桌子，嗯，他们身边来的，他们哈，他们习惯喝汤。当他们喝到这个汤的时候，他们发现到说 ，This is like kind of a paradox where it's very heavy in flavor but very light. 爱台湾，爱台湾，爱台湾。So that's something that's very special. Yeah, and that's what he's saying. People remember. So wow, light in color, light in light in flavor, but it's so heavy. 哦，妈呀！哦，妈呀！ So it's quite you know, very very hard work. So in that process, it kind of goes to the third one where the, the temperature rises and lowers from 200 degrees Celsius to 1,000, and then back down, and then back up, and then back down. And that rising and lowering of heat causes what's like a kind of inverse pressure. What it does is it it's supposed to be bringing chi from the red earth clay in the ground because the pot is in the ground, right? That helps insulate it, but it also has the of bringing chi into the pot. It's rise and then lower, it's bringing it in. It's pushing, it's right, it's concentrating it inside. And that goes with the medicinal functionality of this dish. Right? The, fourth, the fourth part, it's a little hard for me to understand because I'm not like a physicist. The idea is that because of the style of cooking, the heat transfer, it transfers from like, you know, actual was a combustible heat into infrared. And that's what part of the goji berry being sweet ah, goji while berry. being burned. It's, it's burned, it's blackened, but it's still sweet and not bitter. So that has to do with the infrared style cooking, which is supposed to be healthier. So this dish was originally, this is a 1,500-year-old recipe wow. from the Sui dynasty, or Sui dynasty. The Sui. The Sui dynasty, which was from the year 560 to I think late 500 early 600s, a short dynasty. It was originally made only for emperors for immortality, right? <laughs> and for, for health. And so that's uh, that's the introduction to this dish. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. He said, "You, you, you, so much know, can do. I, I say, I can, I can accept." Oh. Yeah. <laughs> 有一些人在玩玩夜市，而这是那家在地的意大利面包店，出现在街上的 Netflix 上。所以我们要这个做午餐。Here, here, here. Hot, hot. 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 Good stuff. Mine's got the bowl by there. Yours is uh, has nuts. Yeah. Good stuff. I can smell it. it smells nutty. Very nice. Ooh, love this. So good. Here, you see. Yours does have more flavor. I like the texture of the bubble there. Mm. Oh. I know. oh, okay. If mine has more flavor. <laughs> he has the texture, so and it's less sweet. Mm. So good. I love um, cocoa pudding. Me too. This is stuff we um, grew up with. Back home, you know, people would sell it on the street. Our first day is a street food, really. This, yep. they'd go around our, uh, the, the village yelling the whole, the whole, at the same time every day. And those kids would scramble for some change and get like a, a cup of this stuff every single day. We're gonna do the dance of joy. Uh, I don't want to.